after making so many videos about Redmi 1S, I realized that many of the Redmi 1S users were like first time Android users or they were rooting their phones or flashing custom ROMs for the first time. So this video will be helpful for them who are doing these things for the first time like uh, they are rooting their phones or flashing custom ROMs for the first time. So let's get started. First thing comes is rooting your device and fortunately Xiaomi in includes rooting in the warranty. That means you don't void your warranty even if you root your phone. So rooting the phone should not be a problem for anyone. Next thing up is by rooting you can use many apps which will increase your performance, battery life or uh, will increase the battery RAM, RAM management. So apps like no frill CPU by using this app you can by using this app you can underclock your CPU and uh, make the battery life last longer and reduce the heating issue. By using Greenify app you can hibernate many many apps which uh, you don't want to run in the background. So like this you can customize the phone by rooting and these apps require permission root permissions only. So you have to root your device to use these apps. If you are a heavy user then like if you watch movies for longer time you uh, listen to songs for longer time browse the net for the longer time then the MIUI gives heating issues so these apps are must for them who face heating issue are, and are irritated by that issue so and for using these applications you need root and many other there are many other applications which you will realize need root permission and because of given root permissions the applications will run more smoothly and you can customize the phone better. So next thing up is TWRP recovery. So what is TWRP recovery and why we are using TWRP recovery instead of CWM. So for Redmi 1S, especially for Redmi 1S, we have TWRP recovery which is more stable than CWM recovery which is present for Redmi 1S. Hence we are preferring TWRP. Why do we require TWRP? We require TWRP to flash custom ROMs. TWRP is must if you want to flash a custom ROM. And flashing custom ROM is like giving a new life to your phone. So if you flash any custom ROM like Cyanogen Mod, Monkey ROM or Paranoid or Android ROM. So you have to be rooted and have TWRP recovery. To flash TWRP recovery, you don't need root permissions like if you don't root your device and directly flash TWRP the TWRP recovery will be flashed and by using this you can flash custom ROMs you can easily flash MIUI ROM that's stock ROM 2 by using the fastboot method to flash TWRP and then flashing the MIUI ROM from the external SD card this is flashing custom ROMs is not the only use of TWRP recovery you can use TWRP recovery for many other things too. Like we have many cache clearing applications on the Play Store. But when it comes to reliability and uh, trust, I prefer TWRP only. Like if I select uh, wipe and if I select cache and dial with cache or the only clash and if I swipe to clean cache, then I'll completely believe that my cache is completely wiped in TWRP because uh, the Play Store applications may or may not wipe the cache that better. Another thing in TWRP is you can back up your current ROM. Like I am using right now uh, MIUI ROM, then I can back up it and flash any other ROM uh, which I want to test. If the ROM is uh, good for me, then I can stick to the ROM, or else I can just by just going into the restore, I can restore that ROM. Like I can restore the MIUI so that without losing any data I can be back on the MIUI another thing is that you can wipe your internal SD card and everything like that because as you can see over here internal storage and external SD card many of you won't believe this but many of my friends who faced issues like uh, internal storage was showing full but there was no data by wiping the internal storage through TWRP recovery help them so wiping data or formatting the internal storage or external SD card through TWRP is very good. One more thing is that if you go in advanced 
and you can see over here you can partition your sd card of uh, there is file manager uh, that's file manager is okay but you can adb side load like if you side load you can using this feature you can side load any rom and flash it using twrp so this is it for twrp so i'll just restore one rom which i i like to use so i flashed this rom a uh, few minutes ago and to make this video i flashed miui again so if i restore the rom again then i'll get the complete data back so this is like a uh, backing up the complete rom or the complete system and data using twr when it comes to flashing custom roms the steps for flashing any custom roms are same so i'll just guide you through the steps so that you can flash any custom roms and uh, you don't need to uh, panic that how to flash a custom rom and all for this to flash a custom rom download the custom rom and then put it in your internal sd card or external sd card then just uh, boot into twrp recovery to boot into twrp recovery just press volume up and power button together when the phone is switched off and you will be uh, booted into twrp recovery now just go ahead and wipe select wipe then go to advanced wipe and select dalvik cache cache and data and just swipe to wipe uh, because of this your data cache and dalvik cache will be wiped which are necessary to uh, to flash any custom rom after you do this just go back and go to install and select the rom whichever rom you want to install to select external sd card and internal sd card just hit over here storage and you can select whatever you want you can even select usb otg cable if you are if you have that connected and uh, install a rom from that too so to flash a custom rom the steps are easy i'll just guide you through again wipe your data the cache and dalvik cache and install the rom and just reboot to system by using this you can even flash miui rom which is the stock rom for uh, redmi one s uh, instead of flashing a custom rom through install flash the miui rom this is it for this twr recovery let's go ahead and reboot into system so as you can see over here i have booted into the paranoid android rom which i have restored from the twr recovery so as you can see over here i have all the data remained like i obviously and it has connected to wifi that means the all the data and everything is restored when you restore restore the rom from the twr recovery so one of the one more thing is custom roms for redmi one s why you should flash flash why you should flash custom roms so first of all uh, if you want to try new things second thing if you want to get rid of the bugs which are present in the miui or the stock rom then you have to flash a custom rom uh, so that you can uh, reduce the heating issues which are currently present in the rom so by using custom roms you you can easily get rid of this box so this is it for this video guys thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos on redmi 1s or xiaomi mi 3 so this might be one of my last videos for redmi 1s uh, but don't worry i'll keep the support for redmi 1s as soon as anything new comes up for the redmi 1s i'll make sure to make video on that from by borrowing the phone from my friend whom i'm giving this phone so if you have any type of doubts regarding twrp routing flashing custom roms then do comment in the comment section below i'll make sure or i'll see to it that i reply to those comments because i know many of the users have these doubts and they have to get get it cleared before flashing anything or before doing anything so i suggest you to flash custom roms and go ahead and play with your device that's not going to hurt you to flash you can easily get through anything by using mi flash and flash the stock rom again so thank you guys thank you for watching follow me on google plus and make sure you share this video like this and comment thank you